Yeah, Interstate's my favorite. From the when you first came back with it, playing it acoustic, that's uh, that was uh, that's that's my favorite so far. But it changes, you know. Sometimes uh, the more I listen to it, the more uh, the more I like different songs more. Um, it just uh, I guess it's the best the, song ever written. Say it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, other than that. Uh, no, it's uh, it's that. I guess it's that the. Um, what is it about it? I guess it just it it feels the most real to me, uh, and it's. Uh, I, I guess I can relate to it. Yeah. Um, so, you know, when we started the project, I had a lot of different favorite songs. The Awesome Austin song was one of my actual uh, favorites in the beginning, and then after we recorded, uh, and. It ended up being the single, Too Late for Goodbye. I was like, man, that really came off great. Like in the studio, when we got done, I was like, dude, it's a great track. And if, you know, when we first got the record done, that wasn't gonna be a single. And all of a sudden, Powers of B were like, hey, that's the song. I'm like, nice, <laughs> you know, like, cause, cause I, I don't know, for me, that was, that was the end project. That was what I thought was, you know, gonna work, you know, but. I don't know. Um, for me, I think my favorite is Looking For You So Long. It's probably one of my favorites to play. I think when we recorded that song, I really probably put the most thought into my drum part and maybe had a lot more to contribute on that song than a lot of the other ones. So, no, I don't, I don't know why. <laughs> it was an extra cup of coffee that I don't morning. know why. Uh. <laughs> So my favorite tune on the record is Just Don't Tell Me the Truth, and it's pretty selfish why I like that, but I wrote it with Dean Dillon, who is like one of my heroes, and um, guys that I would like to be like if I grew up, and another guy named Del Dotson, but I got to know Dean, we started writing songs for this record, we wrote, uh, I think we've written three total, but you know, it's country, you know, and I like country music, and that track is, to me, what country music you know, should be or should sound like, um, and it's a, it's a love song. It's a, you know, about a guy that, uh, that just doesn't even care if the girl is running around on him and lying to him. He just loves her that much. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah. So it's, you know, it's about a guy who is in love with this girl that doesn't want to be with him and he doesn't even care. Uh, he's just still going to stick with her, you know. And I've seen a lot of people go down that path, you know, not me. But uh, it's a pretty common occurrence. My favorite song on the new record is the Awesome Austin song. What's, what is that song called, anyway? Uh, missing, missing, you missing You, is more, missing you is more Than I Can Do. I just call it Awesome Austin. Uh, <laughs> it's got the coolest melodies. It's got a real old school sound. It's uh, got the three-part harmonies going. Just a beautiful song. Sounds real cool. Good old school feel. I think it came off great on the record. It's got some real sad sounding crying steel guitar on it. Came out just great. And Keener over there got to sing uh, some harmonies on it too. 